Okay, so by now we should have gone through uh, our adding and multiplication rules. Uh, now I want to show you that when it comes to multi step problems. So I have essentially this, I have the same uh, problem shown to you here for both, uh, on both sides here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to show you the wrong way and the right way. Uh, this is why, and, and you'll understand why uh, it's the wrong way and why it's the right way. Okay, so here's how not to do the problem. Now, order of operations apply to everything. So. I'll do the order of operations when 3.08 minus 1.2 is equal to 1.88. Now, some people will automatically know that my least precise value place is the tenths place. So 1.88 should be rounded to 1.9. And that's where people go wrong, is rounding in between. And then the next order of the operation is to take the 1.9 and multiply by 5.05. So 1.9 times 5.05. And that equals 9.595. This has two significant digits. This has three significant digits. So two significant digits should be in our answer, which would give us an answer of 9. Point six. Now, why this is wrong, why this is wrong, is because we did the rounding in between. So, do not round in between. Okay, do not round in between. So here's the right way to do this. So 3.08 minus 1.2 is going to give you an answer of 1.88. Take that number. We know that our precision level is two. Okay, so we're only precise to the tenths place. So that gives us two significant digits. And that's what gets multiplied by 5.05. So 1.88 times 5.05 is 9.494. So we, this number here has two significant digits because this one doesn't count because our precision level. Okay, this has three significant digits. We go with the least amount of significant digits, which would give us an answer of 9.5. So this is our final answer. And that's the correct answer. So let's look at, okay, let's look at another example. If we have 1.55 plus 7.0 and then multiply by 5.00, uh, what is the correct answer? So we do what's in parentheses first, 1.55 plus 7.0 is equal to 8.55. Now, our precision level is in the tenths place, so we should have a precision level to the tenths place here, and our 8.55 answer, and we're going to multiply that by 5.0. And again, we are not going to round in between. So we're not going to make this 
and then multiply by the 5.00. We're going to keep it at 8.55, remembering that this is our precision level, meaning this number really only has two significant digits. So 8.55 times 5.00 is going to give us an answer of 42.75. So, this only having two significant digits, this number having three, our answer should have two significant digits. So, 42, going from left to right, would round to 43, which is two significant digits in our final answer. Okay, and the last example I'm going to do is uh, shown here. We're going to take 5.0 times 20 plus 9.009. Okay, uh, so 5.0 times 20 gives us an answer of 100. Uh, we don't need to round anything there. And we wouldn't round in between anyway. But we do want to take note of the significant digits uh, that are dictated by the numbers we're multiplying. One significant digit in 20, two significant digits in 5.0. Therefore, we're only significant here, which our answer shows here also. But that uh, has some important implications with it as well. When we go and add 100 plus 9.009, we're only precise to the hundreds spot. So being that we're only precise to the hundreds spot, when we add these two numbers together, let's do this. I add these two numbers together, we get an answer of 109.009. But we're only precise to the 100 spot. So 0 doesn't round 1 up at all. And we don't care what about everything behind it. This ends up rounding, according to your significant digit rules, to 100. 